Next, we're going to look at how to create reports and export data with REDCap. To do this, we'll go to the Data Exports, Reports, and Stats page, which can be found under Applications on the left-hand menu. Or, if you're on the Project Home page, you can click on Create a Report or Export Data. First, let's create a report. To create a report, click on the Create New Report tab. Then, give your new report a name. First, you can choose who you want to be able to access the report. You can give access to all users, or you can specify specific users to have access to the report. The next step is to decide what fields to include in your report. To choose all fields from an instrument, go to the drop-down menu and select the instrument name. To add only specific fields from an instrument, click on the drop-down menu and select the fields that you're interested in seeing. If you want to reorder your fields, mouse over so you get the double triangle, then click, drag, and drop. If this is a survey, you can choose to have the survey identifier field and the survey timestamp fields. Next, you may want to filter your report so you only see a specific subsection of your data. For example, you may want to see only the results for men over the age of 50 or people with diabetes. To add a filter, click on the arrow and then click on the drop-down menu. Pick the field you want to see. For now, I'm going to say age and that I want the person to be less than 50. If you want to put in more than one filter, you'll have to choose whether you want the filter to be AND or OR. If it is AND, the respondent will have had to have all the criteria you select. If it's OR, they can have had any of the criteria. For now, I'm going to select OR. And for my second field, I'm going to ask, how many DVDs do you own? And say, I want the answer not 0 to 10. Finally, you can select how you want the results to be ordered. The default is to order in by record ID. However, I want to see it by name. So, I'll say last name, and then I'm going to add a secondary field and order by first name. But this one I'm going to put in descending order. Then, click Save Your Report. Here, you have the option to view your report, return to the My Reports and Exports page, or continue editing the report. Let's click View the Report. Here you can see my report with all the respondents under the age of 50 who own more than 0 to 10 DVDs. They are sorted by last name, so the blanks, and then alphabetically, and then by first name in reverse alphabetical order. Next, let's go to the My Reports and Exports tab. When you're exporting your data, you get the choice to export data for all records or for just selected instruments, such as the report we just created. Under these options, you can view the report online through REDCap, export the data, or look at some basic statistics and charts. First, let's view the report. And this is basically the same setup as what we saw with the report that we just made. Here, though, you can see it's automatically sorted by record ID and that the results aren't filtered at all. Next, let's look at the stats and charts. REDCap is not really meant as a statistical program, but it does have some basic statistical options for you. So, first, you'll want to select an instrument. And here, you can see basic statistical information for all the variables in your project. So I can see how many records I have with answers in each field. It will give me an N and tell me how, what percentage are missing. If it can be charted, REDCap will provide a bar chart, or you can switch it to some other form of chart. Scatter plots where appropriate, and where it also has that range, it will give you a min, max, mean, standard deviation, sum, and the percentile breakdowns. You can also choose to view this just for a single record. 
And here, you'll see the selection for this particular record is in orange, as compared to blue for all the other selections in this field. Finally, let's look at how you export a report. REDCap allows you to export your data in six different ways. You can download as a CSV file, either with the raw data or with labels replacing the raw data, or you can download from one of the four major statistical software programs, SPSS, SAS, R, and Stata. If you want to download as a CSV, we generally recommend that you download as raw data. If you download as labels, it will replace things like the variable name with a label, age, and it will replace your answers with labels as well instead of the coding. So, for example, instead of yes, no fields being 1 and 0, they'll be labeled yes and no. This can make it a lot more difficult to analyze your data, so we always recommend that you download the CSV file as the raw data. It'll keep the variable names intact, and you'll have the proper coding to do your analysis. This leads to better analysis, and it will let you re-import the data into REDCap if you need to. If you choose to download the data through one of the statistical softwares, REDCap will provide you with a few different files here. Download all the files and follow the directions, and then when you open your statistical program, the files will be automatically formatted for you, so you can get going with your analysis and don't have to do any additional work there. REDCap also lets you work with some de-identification options. For example, it'll allow you to remove all tagged identifier fields, ones that you tagged in the data dictionary using the online designer. It can also hash the record ID field. So if for some reason you use potentially identifying information as your record ID, which we never recommend, you can hash it, which means that it will convert the record name to an unrecognizable value. It'll still be unique to that record but no one will be able to trace it back to the actual patient. REDCap is primarily a quantitative program, and so it will allow you to also remove qualitative data. This means that you can remove unvalidated text fields, or you can remove notes and essays boxes, or both. Finally, you can work with the dates and time field. You can either remove all the date and time fields, or you can shift all dates by the value between 0 and 364 days. All dates within one record will be shifted by the same amount, so you can still run your analysis. However, no one will be able to link them back to a specific person. You can also shift survey completion timestamps. This will have the same effect as shifting the regular date fields. When you're ready, choose to export data, download, and you're ready to go. That about covers the main features of a basic REDCap project. Next, let's look into some of what you can do with a REDCap survey.